Hi, I'm Eleanor Bolton, sports shoes athlete and international distance runner. I have been wearing the Garmin Forerunner since I first started running and was struggling to break 19 minutes for the 5k, all the way up to representing Great Britain in the 10,000 meters and cross country. Today I'm going to be talking about how I have used the Garmin Forerunner 265 to progress as an athlete. Six months ago, I was just coming back from an injury. Instantly, I tried to get back into training. It was really frustrating because I just didn't feel like I was getting anywhere. So the training status feature on the Forerunner 265 has been a really good way of seeing the peaks and troughs in my training as I've progressed. When I paid attention to that data and actually took a step back, started to take my runs a bit easier, really focus on recovery. My watch started to tell me that I was actually starting to maintain and I was getting much fitter. So if you want to track your progress as an athlete, here are my top five stats that I like to keep an eye on. Number one is the acute training load. So that is really important when it comes to preventing injury. You don't want to overload the body, which can result in stress fractures or just general injury. Your VO2 max is the maximum amount of oxygen you can consume per minute per kilogram body weight. It's been really nice to show how I have improved as an athlete in terms of cardiovascular fitness. So it's a really interesting stat to look at uh, when you're working towards your peak performance. When it comes to performing at the highest level, it's important to take into account metrics outside of running. The Garmin Forerunner 265 has a 24 seven tracking system, which means that it can take into account your stress and also your sleep and the quality of your sleep. These are two metrics that I really like to keep an eye on and have an effect on my training readiness and my recovery. Another really interesting statistic on the Forerunner 265 is the HRV or heart rate variability. So this is looking at your autonomic nervous system and how well it's reacting to the environment both physiologically and psychologically. So it looks at the time between heartbeats. This can reflect how well you're recovering. It looks at your cardiovascular fitness and your resilience to stress. If your HRV is unbalanced, it can often mean that you're feeling fatigued. So maybe you need to take a bit more rest. If your heart rate variability is remaining in that balanced section, it often means that your fitness is improving really nicely. You're getting your recovery right and you just need to keep going as you are and probably the races coming are gonna go really well. Another really unique feature is the running power. So this is a wrist-based metric and it's very similar to when you are on a watt bike and it tells you your power output. So this takes into account your stride length, your cadence and how far you're moving with each stride and it shows you how powerful you are. So often my running power is much greater when I'm doing a session or a tempo run because I am moving much further with each stride. Whereas if I'm doing an easy run and I'm very much plodding along and taking it easy and trying to recover, my power is much less. When it comes to the accuracy of the data on the Forerunner 265, I think it's really important to remember how personalised and individual these data points are. And it actually takes quite a bit of time for the Forerunner to learn about you and for the data points to be accurate. So when I initially got my watch and I was looking at the training status and the race predictions, I wouldn't say there were an exact representation of where I was at but slowly as it gets to know me more, it like kind of gets data on my sessions, it becomes much more accurate and a much better representation of me as an athlete.